Hi, my name is Corp and welcome to the 15 minute doodle challenge. The plan is that I'm going to show you how to draw something nice and easy within 15 minutes and the challenge is to see if you can keep up, do the same or do even better. So uh, these are the materials I'm going to use. I like to keep it nice and simple with my drawing. So all we're going to use is a, a fat pen and a thin pen essentially, a sharpie and a fine liner. No pencils today because uh, it's much easier. You get on a lot faster if you don't bother using pencils. So just go and grab that Sharpie uh, and uh, let's set the timer. Are you ready? Let's do it. We're going to draw like a skull toadstool kind of character. So let's go first off uh, with a little curve going across right in the middle of the page there. This is going to be the base of the toadstool or the cover of it, the bottom of the cap of the toadstool. Just flick a few lines off like either side. One there, a little smaller one just there. Keep it nice and wonky as well. You see how I'm double lining everything I do here to make those lines wonky. Wonky lines, easier to draw, look much better as well. Just flick a little line off that side as well. So you just double line it and a little tiny flick there. One to finish off. Uh, and yeah, that's nice. Our skull is going to grow out from that section. Now, when I draw skulls, I like to keep them nice and simple. I'll just do three teeth. Uh, two eyes and a heart shape for a nose. So let's go right down from the middle part there down to about here and let's put in three teeth. Something like that, a little bouncy line. Let's uh, double line that as well. So just making that line really wonky. Wonky lines, easy to draw, look much better as well. So that's why I like drawing them. A little flicky the side, that's real wonky over there. That's okay though, we'll get away with that. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take those out those three lines we're going to take a little line that can, kind of comes out and then up into this section out and up into this section of uh, of that mushroom okay so here we go let's go and try doing that let's go out to about there again nice and wonky it's no no uh, kind of smooth lines it's just a out up that's an even worse line that is because as I moved over my hand brushed against this bit so that's a lot straighter than I intended it to be but you know when stuff happens like that don't panic don't worry about it you're going to make little mistakes or lines aren't going to be exactly where you want them the only person who's going to know about that is you so don't worry about it too much okay let's go and whack a couple of eyes in so the couple of eyes would be two circles just there but don't draw circles with just one smooth line let's draw a circle with a wonky line so let's go something like like that, look more like a 50 pence piece or a hexagon, octagon, whatever. It's just a series of straighter lines. Double line it. Let's do another one over this side. Again, going around twice to double line it, make it nice and wonky. Uh, that looks pretty neat. I like that. Right, we're going to make the um, eyes look like they're like holes in the skull by adding a little bit of a 3D element to it. So you see that line there, that little curve there. We're going to bring that curve over to the right hand side a little bit. So like that that looks nice same with this side look that curve over that side let's bring it over here a little bit so let's go about there yeah that's not too bad we'll finish this off or well, the skull part anyway we'll finish the skull part off with a heart an upside down heart if you can't draw a heart upside down just turn your page the other way around and we'll, it's nice and easy to get a heart in there then Okay, we'll leave it. Should we leave it like that? Let's no, let's go and colour in. It's always a little bit of a risk colouring in in the 15 minute doodle challenge because you do spend quite a lot of time throwing some colour on when actually you could be throwing on loads more lines. Plus, you know, what we're doing here with the 15 minute doodle challenge is essentially you're just creating your own colouring in sheets. So you should be doing this within 15 minutes and then going and playing around with some colours. But yeah, let's just get some, uh, let's carry on colouring in. Let's do the nose as well. I want to make it look like there's nothing inside that skull. Awesome. Okay, we're doing good. Right, let's, uh, let's work on the top half of the toadstool. Now, so that's the skull part. Let's go and work on the cap. We're going to take a little line just below here coming from behind the skull it's going to go around there and it's going to finish off just behind the skull over this side so watch this look again look you can see how I did it nice and wonky not trying to make those lines too smooth smooth lines overrated just go around it twice 
wonk it all up as much as you can now what we're going to do now is we're going to go and do that again but this time rather than going straight across and into this side this time we're going to go up here and then down here and into this part so to help us kind of break that down a little bit so that there's not so much uh, to work on what we're going to do is we're going to put some uh, little spots on the top of the sto toadstool that we're going to hit first so we can just do one section at a time okay so first thing right you see the edge of the skull here just go up from the edge of the skull there and let's just put in like a potato shape a spud shape just there edge of the skull go up at an angle spud shape on this side let's go to the eye see where the eye is go up even higher another spud shape let's go that way around double line it nice and wonky okay so there's your two markers that you're going to hit as we do this so are you ready then this line all the way from there hit that through to that back onto this side okay here we go let's do it out here First of all, going up into that, yeah. Second line, let's go up even further. And across, we're going to go into that spot as well. Third line, let's bring it home down and around into there. So let's go down and around into there. Awesome, that's looking good. Let's double line that. So as well as uh, double lining to make your line all wonky, you want to double line strategically to make your line, um, to, to put some like strong intersections. So you see these bits here, just here, just here, just here. They're intersections where two lines join each other. You always want to try and make those a little bit thicker. It's usually where the shadows live. So just get in a routine of making those bits a little bit thicker. Okay, how are we doing? This is looking good. Let's go and put some, you see these bits that we put on? Let's go and throw some more on uh, this character. Let's, let's go and put one here. See, we've done that one that was just kind of overlapping the border, sticking out a little bit. What we're going to do now is just some smaller ones all around the rest of the head. Uh, so these ones are at the front. Uh, let's, let's whack in a little small one there. Look. Doesn't matter where you put these, just kind of throw them in. Don't think about it too much. Thinking is overrated when it comes to art. Uh, and then secondly, what we'll do is we'll put on a few that are kind of around the back. So they'd be just there. Look, see how it just kind of jumps off from behind there. Let's put one there. Let's put one over here as well. And again, with all the double lining. Okay. Awesome, right, that is looking good. Let's go and do some work with our fine liner. We're about halfway through our uh, drawing. Uh, so grab your fine liner, your thin pen. For me, I'm using a point two, but you know, any thin pen will do. What we're gonna do is just gonna go throw on some shadows first. So uh, when I draw shadows, I like to just put a little bit of an outline on of where the shadow's gonna be, then put some lines nice and close together. Now, if you're doing a color and in sheet, you might not wanna do it that way. You might wanna just, uh, put a little bit of colour in there to shade it, a little tiny bit of grey in these bits. But I actually like it, I like being able to just use uh, black pens. So all I need is a white sheet of paper, a couple of pens, good to go. So just all around here, just find where you'd think those shadows would be. We know the light source is coming in from this direction, so find where you think the shadows would be. And then just draw in the shadow and then hash it out with some little lines. Now the thing is, because we're using a much thinner pen here, these lines won't get confused with the thicker lines that we've got all over the place. Uh, so you'll get away with putting these lines all over the place. So this one over here, like, I'm, I imagine this one is like all the way behind everything. So the whole thing's gonna be shaded out on this one. because the cap of the toadstool is just hiding that one out of the way. Awesome stuff. Let's go put some more shadows in. So I imagine in under here, under the cap, there'll probably be a little bit of a shadow. So let's go and put it in around about there. This is going to take a while, look, just shading in this bit. You'll get into a habit of uh, getting quick with these lines. And don't try and get the lines too perfect. You don't have to go all the way to that thin line that you've drawn in for your shadow loads of my lines are going way past that and some aren't hitting it at all just get it roughly right is good enough 
Awesome, let's keep on going. Let's go and put some more shadows in. So down the bottom here, I think I'm gonna put in some shadows around here. Look, so just this kind of bouncy bit that we added in as it just curls round and the skull kind of pops into that cap. I'd expect to see a few little shadows in there. And uh, yeah, let's do a little, let's do one just there. You can't go too far wrong on this. Just throw some shadows in. Doesn't matter if it's not perfect. We're not going after perfection. That is overrated. Okay, where are we going now? Let's go put some shadows on the skull. So keep on going, look. Wherever there's things that are going to cast a shadow, go and throw those in. Yeah, that'll do. What about in there? Okay, let's get into these eyes. Now, I really want to have a bit of fun with these eyes. Uh, we want to take, you see, that we, we did them like a w real wonky line. The reason we did that wonky line is so that every time there's a bend in the line, we can flick a little line out. So watch this. What we'll do is we're going to make our character look a bit concerned. So just flick a little line out like that. Look, look at that. Same on the other side. Wherever there's a bend, just flick a little line out. Put as many or as few in as you want. I'm going to put one down here as well. Look. Maybe one going up there. You can see how we're just getting most of our chunky lines done with the fat pen, with the sharpie. And then what we do is we just get in with this thin pen, add a little bit of finesse to it. And it starts to make it look like the whole thing's been done with a thin pen. Also, Mike, that's looking good. Let's go and throw in some uh, little lines, little curves around this nose. So watch this. Look, let's go. Uh, how are we going to do this? Let's go. Uh, I call this a floater. It's just a little line that just kind of sits on its own. It's not touching any other lines. Let's do one across the top as well. Look. Double line it, even though we're using thin lines, you still want to double line it. Awesome, a few more shadows. Let's keep on going with the shadows down the bottom here. Giving everything just a little bit more shape by adding these little shadows. How are we doing for time? We've got three minutes left. Let's move it on. Those eyes, inside those eyes, let's just put a few little lines going this way, look, just to give a little bit more direction to the inside of those eyes. That's looking nice. Let's go and throw some cracks in as well. So I imagine a crack would be around about there. It's just a capital Y kind of shape. Look, let's put in a crack there. Uh, where else can we put in a crack? I think that'll be all right. Let's get back with our Sharpie. We're gonna put in some eyebrows. Watch this little float of a line there. Float of a line there. Use the sharpie to get the main part of the line in, then add a bit of finesse. Just flicking the lines off at the end there. Let's get up into the top. Let's go and put some little patches in at the top. So again with the circles shaded in. Back with the Sharpie, let's go and throw in some drips. This looks like it could be a drippy character, so let's put in some drips all the way around. A couple on the teeth as well, look. Around the jaw. Wherever you put a small drip in, you could have a little drop coming off as well. That looks nice. Go and throw in some quote marks. So thin pen again. Quote marks all over, don't think about it too much, just throw in a couple of quote marks, maybe even a hashtag here or there. Definitely going to flick in a little bit of hair. Let's flick out look, a couple of hairs. So we've got a hairy toadstool, why not? And then around the outside edge, let's go and put some ink splats. This is a nice way of just doing something really simple around the outside edge. It's not complicated, but it just finishes off your artwork really nicely. Club them together as much as you can. 
Uh, there you go, that's not too bad. You know me, I like doing a little little flies, so I'm gonna put in a few little flies as well. Maybe have one inside there. That's looking good. Let's go in with a couple of little lines, stitches. Why not put some stitches in? See what that looks like. Little drips. Quote marks in there, and I think we are just about done. There we go. I'm going to leave it at that. That's 15 minutes now where we've done our uh, skull toadstool character. So, yeah, have a little bit of fun with that. See if you can do the same kind of thing. Uh, just add your own style to it as well. Mix it up a little bit. See if you can do something that's slightly different to what I've done. Don't forget to sign it. And uh, use the hashtag DoodleWithCorp if you want to post it online so I can find it. Right, well done. I'll see you next week in another 15-minute doodle challenge.